and you are now watching the Nino channel. We need just um, just a little bit more energy. Nina. Okay. I'm Nina, Bo Nina Brown, and you are now watching the Nina channel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how long do I have to smile? <laughs> oh, we're done with you, Nina. Fish and chips. Bonina, Banana, Fafana, Gremlin, Greta Brown, and welcome back to an all new Raw View. And child, I'm tired. It's been an all day thing. I'm tired. I'm sleepy. But we are here. Because girl, I woke up this morning. My cramps were cramping. My hard on was hard oning. And I looked at my phone and I saw that Drag Race was doing a reveal a reveal and a revealed season 12, honey. Now, I was going to watch it just earlier on a live video. But I was like, no, let me not watch it yet. Let's do a raw view, give my honest reaction. I haven't seen it yet. I've probably seen like one queen walking, but I cut it off. So I don't know who's on who. I don't know what is on what. I don't know what's going on. Okay, I'm kind of excited. I thought they were gonna release maybe Celebrity Drag Race first or All Stars 5, but they're doing season 12. And probably because they wanna give, I don't know how long a gap is gonna be in between this and All Stars 5, but it's like, you wanna give the winner enough time to enjoy their win, you know? But we'll see what happens. And I just wanna just piggyback real quick to last week, you know, my other video I did that, you know, the recent one about the Valentina and all that stuff. Cause people have been commenting like, I am from Mexico and I love you, a Latino. Like, girl, we know that. I never say that every Latino or every Mexican, Mexican person doesn't like me. Like, if you know that's not you, that's not you. If it's not in your heart, it's not in your heart, you know? A hit dog will holler. Like, clearly, I don't mean everybody. But for the most part, I've experienced a lot of racism from that side, unfortunately. But I know it's not all of you. I know I have a lot of great, wonderful Mexican, Latino, Cuban, Dominican fans who love me and I love you back. So let's get to this, because Mama is thirsty, she's hungry, and she's ready to, to be done with this. Oh, and I haven't worn this wig since I did that shade look, or she's called Black Veil now. Um, and this is, once again, a James Mansfield wig. Um, it doesn't smell nothing like cream soda, maybe gonorrhea, but um, it got the job done. Greta's hair is darker than this. This I did. Oh, and in case you're wondering where I got these contacts from, don't wonder about it. These contacts, I bought some before and I threw them away. These cat eye contacts, they are so hard to work with. Maybe just me. They shift, they move. Girl, I'm looking like my good sis Kennedy. One eye going that way, the other eye going that way. <laughs> don't get these. Don't get these. Let's do this. Oh, just booting up my MacBook Pro. Oh my God, it's starting to train port. 
in five, four, three, two. Greetings, oddballs. It is I, Evie Oddly, your reigning queen. Okay, well, let me just say, whatever they're doing, this is giving me very Project Runway in the Dragula. Girl, are... But I'm kind of here for it. Aiden Zane. I mean, she's cute from what I can see so far. I have that wig. I wear it better. Um, <laughs> but okay. Okay. <laughs> I've seen this Britta Queen before. I can't think where, but I've seen her. She kind of reminds me of like Jaden Dior Fierce in the, in the face a little bit. She's cute. The outfit, oh, sorry. The other outfit from Aiden. I'm gonna buy it, I'm gonna buy it. This one, I'm going to just rent it, but I'm kind of liking the Sindale Mohawk Mortal Kombat tees, but um, yeah. <laughs> We have our own Crystal. And they've let her have the last name Method, but they wouldn't let Crystal have her name in the UK. Uh, as far as this look goes, I don't know what the hell's going on. Is she giving me Link from Zelda? Zelda Tease? What is happening? But I kind of like it, so I'm gonna buy it. So far, I'm glad I don't know any of these queens. I don't know who they are. This is what we need, a new fresh season of queens that we don't really know to, to bitch. We don't know what to expect, girl. It's me out. Dahlia Sin. Uh oh. Uh oh. Girl, we got Aja part two, bitch. Dahlia done made it in the house, girl. Ooh. Ooh. I met Dahlia maybe once. She actually seems pretty, pretty nice. She look, but she looks like Ariel Versace here. Like, does, is she not giving y'all Ariel right here secretly, bitch? But this look is cute. I'm gonna buy it. Oh, it's that kind of season. GG good. work that runway. I already knew she was on there. I did hear about her and she looks like, girl, if James Charles was to really do, really do drag, she looks like James Charles, bitch. Girl, I swear she does. This outfit, it's, I'm not mad, but I'm not so excited. I'm gonna rent it. The, gir the girls are girling. Heidi and Closet. I think I've heard of Heidi in the club. I think I've seen her page. I think the bitch, I think she, I think she kind of dances. Oh! I think I have seen her. I think so. She puts me to mind a little bit of like Kahana Montreal meets Kennedy Davenport. I'm gonna rent this. I'm gonna rent it. Jesse Cox! Girl, now they got my Santa and the Kosh people on here, girl. Come on. Come on, the South Asian, you wanna call it Indian, whatever you wanna call it, girl. Come on, representation. But I don't care for the outfit. So, no. But yes, for a couple. Jada Essence Hall. Oh, 
she's most of these girls I've seen on Cosmopol Cosmopolitan. Cosmo Queens. Oh. Okay. The girls. The girls are. The girls are girling. Girl. I think so far I'm kind of excited. I think I'm gonna buy this season. I'm kind of into this so far. I buy the look. Oh. And she puts me in my mind a little bit of Linacea Sparks, a little bit. Oh. Jeff. You know what, Jan is giving me, she is ready, girl. She is feeling her puss, girl, down this runway. And she kind of gives me gothy Kendall. I know, girl, I hate when queens compare people, but she's really giving me kind of gothy Kendall. But I enjoy it just a little more. Um, the outfit, I'm not mad at it, I'm gonna rent it. But I'm loving her runway, she seems, girl. Yes, ma'am. Nikki Doll. Mama is foreheaded, but I love her. Uh, yes, me, girl. I don't know why she puts me in the mind a little bit of Dax exclamation, but better in this storm kind of outfit. Yes, you better, girl. The girls are pretty this season. <laughs> Rock and Sakura. She said, bitch, I'm gonna take a, a mixture of kimchi and Trixie, but really do it, girl. Goddamn. <laughs> she can see into the future. Girl, I'm gonna rent it. I, I, I feel like if the pants part wouldn't have been black and it would have been like that pink or gold, I would have bought it. But it's still not bad. Okay. Sherry High. Sherry Pie, she's clearly gonna be the campy queen. Um, she's kind of giving me meet me on first vibes. Um, the outfit, very denim challenge. Um, I'm not gabble jabbled, but I'm not Saka Lucas. I'll rent it, I guess. I guess. I mean, what else am I doing with my life? Widow Fondue. <laughs> Widow Von Du, I don't really like this. Like Jafar, but meets Barney. That's just a lot going on. I don't care for this. Um, and these names, girl, I'm gonna have a hard time remembering some of these names. But yeah, I don't really care for it. I'm not gonna buy it or rent it. Girl, I can do that. Girl, bye. My fellow Americans, RuPaul's Drag Race season 12 is here, and Mama Ru needs you to pledge allegiance to the drag. I pledge allegiance to the drag. To the drag. To the drag of the United Queens of Ru America. And to the crown for which we fight. 13 queens under Ru. <laughs> Irresistible. With lip syncing and runways for all. For all. For all. For all. For all. Are you this bitch? No, she's gorgeous, girl. <laughs> girl, she is pretty, girl. Girl, girl. The time has come to search for America's next drag superstar. I don't know if I care for the commercial that much, to be honest. Like, I get it, they're trying to like pull in the Americans and like, you know, we're patriotic teams, but yeah, yeah. RuPaul, I don't really care for the wig or the outfit, but I appreciate her doing something different, but then I don't appreciate it. Okay, Friday, February 28th. Are the girls ready? Girl, okay, that was pretty good, I ain't gonna lie, for real. I mean, it was kind of long, and, uh, 
but it was pretty good. I'm excited. And you can tell they kind of took from Bully Brothers, Dragula. But can you get mad? It doesn't make the Bully Brothers haven't took from RuPaul. Why do I picture next season 13? It'd be a bio queen on there. Watch. Watch my words, girl. They, girl, I think this is going to be a good season, y'all. I'm excited because I don't know these people like that. Some of them I've seen, but I don't know any of them at all like that. So I'm excited, girl. Let's get to this Meet the Queens real quick. Hello, world. I'm Crystal Method. I'm 28 years old from Springfield, Missouri. I love Crystal. Whenever I first started, I was just gonna pick Crystal because I liked the name. It was kind of like witchy. And my friend was actually the one that gave me the idea for Method. I was like, okay, but I'll spell it with a Y so it's more womanly. Crystal is a different queen. She's I am America's Next Track Superstar because I am so different from everyone else. And I love that she looks completely different from the runway introduction video that we saw in this video right here. She looks completely different, I like that. I don't know how to feel about Crystal Myth just yet, as far as like, as far as, as far as on the show goes. I don't know yet. I, I think she's cute though, but I don't know yet. I am Aiden Zane. I am 29 years old and I am from the middle of nowhere, Georgia. I chose the name Aiden Zane because I wanted something that felt very in line with my aesthetic and I also chose it for A to Z, again, both ends of the spectrum. I think a lot of girls might underestimate my performance ability because I don't have the same experience as a lot of them. She's already talking about how she kind of can't perform or how is she saying it, so I don't know if I see the confidence in that. But, um, Aiden, um, I think she's cute, I really do. It's hard to read these girls just yet. Hi, my name is Britta. I am 34 years old and I live in New York City. Well, my name is Britta, because I met this girl named Britta. Um, and I was like, oh, it's like that, you know, water thing to the world of drag. Like that's my that's my thing. I love it. I love people, I love performing, and I look good doing it. I definitely like her personality. I do. I like her personality. She's already kind of got me in with the personality. Hi, I'm Dahlia Sen. I am, how old am I? I am 28 years old, and I am from Los Angeles. I'm living for this baby here, though. Dahlia Sin came from the Black Dahlia. I was like, Sin sounds cute, I'll add that to her. Cause I was more of a spooky girl back then. So, it's a little creepy girl. Dahlia's a look queen, she's banji, she's kawaii, and she's realness. So, she's gonna give you a whole lot of sexiness while she's performing, but she's real cute. Yeah, she's gonna be the girl. I don't, I don't know if she can really perform, perform like that. But like she said, she's the, she's the queen that just grabs money. Her personality is kind of like a little, the way she talks, it makes you look just a little bit sleepy. But that doesn't mean she's gonna be bad. So I'm, you know, like I said, she's a nice girl and I'm excited to see her. Good morning, my name is Gigi Good. I'm 21 years old from Los Angeles, California. So my drag name, Gigi Good, comes from my last name, which um, I'm not gonna give that away, but it's spelled with two G's in it. I'm America's Next Drag Superstar because I encompass every single thing that America's Next Drag Superstar is. I'm the look, I'm the performance, I'm the humor. This outfit, I wish you would just put, put, if you're not gonna wear titties at all, girl, I, girl, we get it, but a little cleavage, just draw a little something, like it's just, it's just, I'm looking right, I'm just like, girl, who is this young man? I love, but I do, her face is very interesting. Like, I, I, I actually kind of love her face. Like, I actually think she's gonna be a, a, big, a big star. She just has a face that, like, it's meant for TV. Um, personality, I'm not too sure of yet. I'm kind of, I mean, I know that people are hyping her up already. You know, girl, the whites are already, praise you, praise you, season 12 winner, you white goddess. Um, but I don't know yet. Hi everyone, I'm Heidi in Closet, and I'm 24 years of age, and I'm from Ramsor, North Carolina. Now I remember who she, because I had just saw a picture of her as a boy the other day, because I had just watched her, I think on Mickey's, and she was break dancing, the bitch was break dancing on the girl. <laughs> I 
whoever has to go get this girl lip syncing bitch, bitch, from what I saw, she's pretty good. She can, you know, she, we can all grow, whatever, but she's pretty good, girl. And I've never seen a break dancing queen. Anyway, but I saw a picture of her as a boy. Why is she looking like, um, I just, I just had that lady's name. Is it Octavia, Olivia? The one from that movie, Ma. Tell me that it not look like we're here, girl. I am America's Next Track Superstar because she is charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent. She has an interesting voice. Kind of sounds like Kennedy, and I don't know, but I don't care for this look. I hate this pilgrim collar. Um, but she seems like she's going to be interesting on the show, girl. Like, I see some drama happening. I don't know why. But I see something. Yeah, I definitely enjoyed her little runway look more than this one. But I don't know. I think she's gonna be something to watch, especially on the stage when it's time to lip sync. I'm Jackie Cox, I'm 34, and I live in New York City. So my drag name actually uh, was created by me and my best friend in college. Um, as like this character that we made up who is a musical theater diva. I'm America's Next Drag Superstar because I have the charisma, uniqueness, nerd, and talent. I'm a very nerdy queen. She says she's fun. So far, I'm still waiting to see it. I don't, I don't know how to feel about her yet. I don't know just yet. Um, I, think she, I think it's cool that she's Middle Eastern. I, I really do. Um, and she'll have help. I just pray to God. It does not bring up racism in those people. Cause like, it's like whenever people see somebody that they can look up to, represent them, the love is so hard and so extreme that they really, it, it ends up being bad. I hope not. Anyway, but yeah, we'll see what she does. Hey everybody, it's Jada Essence Hall. I'm 32 years old from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and I am the essence of beauty. Mm. I can't, girl. I'm literally going just down the comment section while I'm watching Jada. It's like, like, who's the one person who is disliking every video? LOL. Why did I know somehow my name would come up for no reason? It says, the very petty Nina Melina Brown. And then somebody says, don't let this, don't let this distract us from the fact that Nina should have been with that I don't dislike anybody's videos. <laughs> That's not my style. I'm not, I'm, I'm not y'all. If I don't like something, I just don't look at it or I skip past it. But I'm not gonna take the time to dislike somebody's video. <laughs> They're probably joking. I'm just like, girl, come on now. They already swear I'm problematic. If I did not feel like I had what it takes to win, and from the moment that I applied, I knew in my mind, girl, if you get there, you're gonna get there all the way to the end of the finish line. I don't get it. She's like, pageant queen doesn't mean you have to be doesn't mean doesn't make you less pretty or less less wealthy. Isn't it the opposite? No. <laughs> I don't get it. I do think she's really pretty, but I kind of feel like it's going to be an attitude there or something. I just kind of get that feeling. I don't know why. And that she's really going to be cutthroat, girl, but it's going to be good TV. Hi, I'm Jan. I'm 26, and I'm from New York City. Shut up, Jan. <laughs> so I came up with the name Jan because, well, I used to be a longer name, a backpack, if you get what I'm saying, but we're not going to do that so I am just Jan now but it's okay because I love Jan Brady I want to change people's lives through music through art through fashion I want to be able to do all of those things and I know I'm capable of that for this video I'm gathering that she's nice she seems nice she's giving me miss well now it's called fan favorite tees like <laughs> congeniality tees but you know I don't know yet but she, she seems very nice you have a RuPaul's Drag Race mother. It's Alexis Michelle from season nine. Oh, Alexis Michelle's her mom. I had, had no idea, girl. Girl, Aja, Alexis, the season nine mothers have their daughters on this season. They are so different though, it seems. Yeah, I'm gonna, we're gonna see what she does. Hello, my name is Nikki Dahl. I am 28 years old, originally from Paris, France, but now currently living in New York City. Nikki is the short term for Nicole, and Doll is because she basically has different personality as the week evolves, and so I wanted to be a little bit of versatility. I bring you beauty, I bring you fashion, I bring you humor. 
I mean, what else do you need? Oh, she's French fish. Oh, wee wee. Pippi love you. Girl. I don't like this outfit, though. It's like a bologna just flopped on top. Me. <laughs> bologna! Then. Yeah, I feel like she's gonna just be like a kind of a look queen, kind of Miss Fame in a way a little bit. Um, but I do think she's fierce though, especially especially that runway look. So yes, this is gonna be looks are gonna be coming this season, I think. Hi, I'm Rockham Sakura. I'm 28 years old and I'm from San Francisco, California, and I'm your anime J-pop manga queen. My drag name actually comes from my love of anime and toys and anything that's really kitschy or campy. Did these shoulders look like I came here to resolve things peacefully and not win the crown? Yes. But also I will win the crown. Mm. Mm. I think she's gonna be fun to watch. Especially when it comes to looks, she's gonna bring some looks, some crazy stuff. Like this is crazy. But I kinda wanna get very Pokemon tees. Um I just don't know how to read these girls yet. Of like, who's gonna make it that far just yet? Hi, I'm Sherry Pie. I am 27 years old and I'm from New York City! <laughs> hey, is she really 27? Does it? You sure about that? <laughs> no, for real. Like, I, I, I think she's like, oh, one of the older queens. Cause I haven't seen any old queens here, but I'm like, oh, okay. I am looking forward to a nice future. She's definitely like a jinx and a bendela kind of campiness tea. Somebody said our first big winner. I'm like, but she's not that big though. So I don't get it. Um, but yeah, you know, she's gonna be the you know the candy one. You know, we'll see. What up, world? How you doing? I am the Widow Von Du from Kansas City, Missouri, and I am the dirty 30 years old. <laughs> ah! So, I couldn't find a remote. Girl, she's gonna be fun to watch, girl. She is, this is, <laughs> girl, what kind of shenane and the black auntie. Girl, this is a, no, she black. This is a black person child, and I live. <laughs> I'm America's next drag superstar, cause bitch, <laughs> why not? <laughs> I mean, it's time. It's time for a big girl to reign, honey. I think she is gonna be hilarious. Don't know if she'll make it that far, though. Right? You know what I'm saying? I'll calm down. I wish. Um, you guys, I don't know. Down off below who y'all think is gonna make it far, your top three, who going home early, let me know, child. Because I honestly, I feel like GG gorgeous because she's gonna be a fan favorite girl. She, girl, just. Um, Jada, because she seems like she's here to fight. Um, Sherry Pie, because you know she's a legend. That's what they tell me. Maybe Britta. Early out, I don't know, maybe Widow. Jackie Cox, probably. Dahlia, I don't know, it's hard. You guys, I'm done, I'm done, I can't. Thank y'all for being here for another Raw View. And remember to keep it cute, keep it classy, or keep it mute, or get the boot, okay? As always, sweetie, stay beat. Stay beat. And stay blessed. I'm excited, y'all. I think this is going to be a good season, y'all. Let me know what y'all think.